Well, hello. Thank you for clicking in. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Let me get to the comments. I see there's already comments. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Vicki. Thanks for texting. I see that you're connected in. Thank you to the few people that just texted. That's really great. Um, oh, I, um, I, is it possible that there's only two comments or am I like extremely laggy? Oh no. Okay. All right. Okay. So say hi, if you're here, say hello in the chat. I know it's kind of like a weird week, right? People are getting ready. Hi, Sheila. People are getting ready for Thanksgiving. Um, I actually put a poll in. I, but I think I've already made up my mind. The poll was, hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Were you over? I didn't see you. at the, Well, I wasn't there very much today. I was popping in and out. I didn't see you over at the uh, niche, the niche, the niche nation or however she says it. <laughs> Hi, Maddie. Um, so the poll was, how about if we don't do a Friday sale because Thursday is, you know, like not, I think it's going to be like a light crowd on Friday and I could really use like the time off, you know? Oh, you were, but you were lurking. You were still working. Yeah, me too. I was kind of, she was keeping me company as I was going through stuff, you know? Hi, Cheryl. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Yay, Valerie. So, so the car is all fixed. I'm a hundred percent back on track. Um, you know, all the packages are going to go out on Saturday, it's assuming that they're all paid for. If I was waiting for checks from you, I know that there's like a, there's somebody from, uh, you know who you are, uh, you know, one of you is in, uh, Canada, right? So I was waiting for some things and I'm sure they're all in now. I haven't looked at them yet. Um, but there, cause I literally, I literally just got them, but, um, but everything's going to be fine, you know, just a, just a couple of days delay in the end. Joan says, hi, Dawn, happy Friday. Anne says, hi. Oh, Anne, I just saw your comment under the video. Um, somebody was talking about the hiccuping and Anne Miller, you were like, oh, I'm so confused. Were you confused about <coughs> the hiccuping thing or were you like commenting in the wrong spot? <laughs> hi, hi. Okay, I don't know how to say your uh id it's it's ik8856 i and maybe it's i kate maybe it's i kate yeah mm -hmm. interesting okay um anyway yeah let me know let me know how to you know what you'd like to be called um stella hello stella yeah everything's fine stella <laughs> i haven't looked at the mail yet but it is actually in the house um, oh, you were lost. You were in that. I had a feeling that's what it was. So uh, we're, we're finishing up tonight. We're finishing up Alan's stuff. I did get the description below the video. The description. I did get the list in the description box below the video. So you can check the list down there. We're going to do it in order. Uh, oh, I Kate. I don't know either. Okay. I Kate is fine. I Kate is fine. Okay, cool. I'm going to call you I Kate. I like it. I like I Kate. Um, so, uh, so anyway, so we're going to do that plus the few of the things that I thrifted and I did publish another edited video yesterday and YouTube is showing it to a wider audience, which is always fantastic when you get that notification from them. <laughs> Great work. <laughs> People are choosing to watch your video more often than usual. Therefore, we are showing it to more people than usual. That's always a great notification. And that is happening with yesterday's video. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. I might have even put the link to it underneath the video. Did I? I might have thought ahead. For what? For yesterday's video. It's there. It is there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So yeah, so if you haven't seen it, um, it's a good one. You know, I'm getting better at editing all the time. I really, really enjoy editing so much. <laughs> like you have no idea because I'm always improving my skills and my goal is to always just get a little bit better every time, you know, so, um, the chatters. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. VMK, the chatters. I haven't heard that before. Did you just make that up or did you see it somewhere else in someone else's chat? That's excellent. That's really cool. Don Carly and the chatters. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, and Caruso, you were binging your videos. Oh, aren't they fun? I, I, you know, it's really funny. And, um, 
if you go further back, you can see the progression of like my skill level. You know what I mean? So, Lizzie, you are not late. We just got started. Yeah, please give me a thumb up. Please, my goal is to get to 100 thumbs ups um, by, the, by the time we hang up and sign off. Um, hey y'all, Sarsar's Vintage Jewelry and Creations. Um, when's, when are you, when are you officially, Sarsar, you gotta, you gotta have a channel. You're just too good on camera. You're too delightful. You're too entertaining. You're too knowledgeable and you're too creative. So get that, get that channel, you know, going. Um, you know, yeah. Um, I think you've really got something there, my friend. So Vicky says, oh, no, yeah, okay, right, did that already. All right, that was just me. That was my text coming through. <laughs> Community, friends, viewers, chatters, <laughs> lend me your ear. <laughs> yeah, Barbara M. Future Vintage says, absolutely, Sarsar. Kelly says, ditto. Vintage Me Cat says, I agree. Patrick Wright says, hello, Don. Hi. <laughs> hello, Patrick. Okay, so let's get started. It's the last of um, Alan's stuff, and there, there are still some really good things in here. Like, um, it turned out that this... Okay, Ruth, I see you. Thank you. I see you. You are connected via text. It turns out that this... Oh, look! I knew there was something I was forgetting. It's my birthday present. Um, George sold it to me. So it's my birthday present um, from, from Rob. I got this and I got a water pump <laughs> for my car. <laughs> oh, you're working on it during Thanksgiving. That's the perfect time. That's absolutely the perfect time. If you want to connect with me, yes, it is the busy season. I mean, honestly, if you want to connect with me, it might be best to do it at like, you know, 6 a.m. <laughs> or 11 o'clock at night, you know, something like that. But um, if you want to connect with me about timing or anything that I've done in the past that I might be able to uh, share with you, any any kind of thing that I gleaned from the experience of starting, um, feel free to connect with me. I'd be so happy to. Hi, Maddie. So look at this. This is the one I want to show you. So this turned out to be, it was so, okay, I still haven't cleaned anything because the patina is too consistent. Like, look how consistent this patina is, right? I, I didn't clean it, but it had something stuck. It literally had something stuck to it here that I just kind of flicked off. Like it was something, you know, I thought it was part of it, but it was something that was on it. And I think it was put on it on purpose to hide the name. I think someone didn't want someone else to know that it was signed the way that it was because it has this ancient signature. Um, and you can see it in the description box. It turned out to be um, 38 grams of sterling, ancient sterling. You know what's interesting about this too that's so funny is that George has just this element, nothing else. He doesn't, like he didn't know where it came from, but he has this bird and he was like, this is one of like my treasure. And here it is, isn't it funny? Like the people in the tribe, but there it is on an actual bangle. And I'm gonna try and show you the, um, where the mark is because if any of you know I it's not a complete mark it's it's um you know the strike wasn't perfect you know what I mean so part of it isn't there but it looks like a p and an l and then something missing and then in something and an ee -E and an i or an ez and an i and then it says Boston Sterling. So I think it's Native American, somebody Boston Sterling. You see that right there? Look how old it is. And it's so heavy. It's really quite heavy. And does it fit on my wrist? I would have to open it up a bit, which I don't know if I want to do. Maybe Carly will. Carly's like, no, not me. What? <laughs> I'll put it on the pillow. I was thinking that maybe you could, it, you know, it definitely does. You can open it more. Here it is on the pillow. Okay. Pretty cool, right? 
So that's coming up much, much later, but I just wanted to give you an example of like how things are turning out, right? There's some, so, some old pins that turned out to be 14 karat. But we're gonna start out with my little things from my thrift adventures, okay? Because as promised, you know, I say in those videos that if you wanna bid on them, you can bid on them, and they're just fun little things. They're not like major decisions, you know, they're just fun. So we're gonna start, I mean, sometimes you re I really do score, as you know. But, oh, it's $5 increments. If you want to bid and you're new, it's $5 increments. Um, and uh, shipping is on me if it's over, if your total is over $45 and you're in the US, shipping is on me. Unless you start to accumulate a lot of high value, like if it turns out that your box altogether um, needs to be insured, then I will ask for you to pay for insurance. So I recommend that you pay insurance, right? Like, because you bought all these things or you, you know, whatever. It's like, you know, if the if the package has value, it's best to insure it. So I will ask for that. Also, if you're in another country, I will ask for shipping and insurance separately. You'll get a separate request for that. We use links to PayPal buttons here and it's the easiest thing that you will ever do if you have ever bought anything on the internet. It is easier than your easiest experience. If you don't like being signed into YouTube and you have always wanted to bid but you don't want to sign into YouTube and you don't want them to know who you are and you don't have a channel, you actually can bid without having a YouTube ID. You can bid via phone. Actually, I'm going to change this, I'm going to get rid of the ticker and I'm going to put in the banner. So if you want to bid, you could bid via text, right, right here, right? And then Carly, if you win, Carly will put the link to the button in the chat. And even <coughs> though you're not signed in, you can still click that button and you can still directly go and pay using that button. Um, the link to that button, it's there just for you. And um, and it's really super easy, and you don't even need a PayPal account to use it. You just need a credit card, you know, just like any other place on the internet. I do ask that if you're new and if you are planning on bidding, make sure you text me now so that I have your information just in case something goes wrong um, and you can't find the button or you can't get to the link to the button or whatever, I will be able to send it to you after the show or tomorrow if you text me or email me your information, okay? And you'll be prompted when you text. Um, I just need um, the, uh, I just need you to text Hello Dawn, really, if it works, right? And if you're emailing, I need your YouTube name that you'll be using tonight um, and where you live. Okay, so, you know, what country you're in. So, is anybody new here? Right now I'm seeing kind of everybody looks familiar. Vintage Me Cat says, so glad to catch the live tonight. Friday nights get busy. Oh, you have eight inches of snow. Oh, it's the cozy time. So next Friday, I put the poll in at the top, right? And the thing I was saying was, I need to name, what do you think? Like, you know, what do you guys, are a lot of you going to be here or what? But I've decided... Carly and I are taking um, Friday off, and, well, it's not really a day off, but there won't be an auction. <laughs> there won't be an auction on Friday. Instead, I'm going to start preparing, and instead of having, like, a Black Friday thing like I did um, last year, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to extend it out, right? So starting next week, and I don't know how long it's going to go for, the, the Black Friday thing that I like to do is whatever you spend you get 10 percent off of that total um in january right so if if it if it goes like next week and you spend a hundred dollars next week your black friday thing is that you'll get ten dollars off whatever you get in january right um is that it ten percent of a hundred is ten right yeah oh you're old <laughs> Oh, thanks, Christine. Yes, it does approach 56 approaches. My insurance age is already wait, eight inches. My gosh, that is a lot. Yes, L&L. &L. 
So that's the deal. So I'm going to keep track. So starting, uh, we're going to be off next Friday. And then when we come back, it's going to be the like extended Black Friday offer and, you know, just bid as you usually do and I will keep track. And then in January, whatever your total is, whatever you've spent, um, you're going to get a discount. You're going to get the discount of 10% off of whatever you spent, okay? Um, and you can ask me about that if you need to. We can go over it, like if you want me to go over it with you more in detail in person. More coming tomorrow. Hooray, not. <laughs> But I'm so happy about this. This is, this is, it happened. It happened for me. And um, I think it was Linda. Lin Linda even wrote and said, not only do you want it, but your ring wants it. Look how good it looks with my ring. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to start. The first thing is from the Thrift With Me video. I don't think it was the one under the, the, I don't think it's the one in the description box. I think it was the last one before yesterday's. Uh, where I went to Trinity twice, but I'm starting these. It's both of them for 20. It, yeah, yeah, it's so, and, and it, it happens to fit me like it was made for me, like it literally, like it was made for me. Oh, 782 in Southern California. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we're going to start. These are the first two things. Starting bid 20 for both. It's also that time of year where it's nice to have little gifts, you know, and I'm so aware of that. So this already has, it's kind of like good twist. Um, I thought that this was not costume when I bought it, but then I got it home and I think it is. I think it's, I think these are not costume. Right, I think that is like hematite chips, but the pearls it turns out are faux on both sides, and then this, those might be those might be stone chips too, but we'll just call it costume because they're it's not like they're important or anything, but it's adorable, and it's that one with. It's so funny because everything I got from that thrift trip kind of matches. Like it's all kind of aesthetic together. Oh, what did Christine say? Hi, Tex Max. Hi, so nice to see you there. What did. Oh, you're new to the channel. Who said. Oh, you're not new to the channel. Oh, no, definitely not. Lizzie's like the first person. Hi, Suzanne. I want to know what Christine said. What did Christine say? I can't find it. Hmm. Anne says, Christine, you aren't alone. Okay. All right. Well, Anne's got it. Anne's sensitive. So, and then there's this beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I really do like this one. And I could not, uh, it is signed. I couldn't make out what the signature was. But these are natural pearls. And that is hematite. And there's the clasp. Little Chrissy, there's the signature the hallmark right this is what it looks like when you're wearing it it lays kind of cool um very betty cook actually and oh thanks christine happy birthday yeah i just want to be over <laughs> kelly h says so see don't they look good together they actually look really like i think they came from the same person because that is just too cool it makes it geometric and excellent you know they just elevate together um happy birthday everyone's saying happy birthday a lot of birthdays this month oh yeah oh oh who else? okay are there other people that are having birthdays <laughs> you know i'm not surprised i think sagittarians are the custodians <laughs> the custodians of the zodiac Okay, we are already, Kelly got in first, Vicki. Kelly got in first with 20. The next bid would be 25. Um, we are old. Sounds like a song. We are old, we are old. Who's <laughs> in 25? Um, no, it would be the next bid. Oh, okay. Vicki texted 20. Okay, Vicki. already in at 20. Yeah, so Vicki has it at 25 right now. Vicki, I wonder if... No, I was going to say, maybe you should sit there and watch, but it's better if I do it because, yeah, 
You're like, no, that's that's not that's that's my, that's the next pay grade for that one. All right. So uh, Vicky is at 25 now, and I don't tell the day of my birthday. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I can't do it. Kelly ages at 30. Um, I you know I I'm please I mean I'm. Uh, Thank you all for asking, really. it's I really do appreciate it. I, I get what you're doing. It's just I was watching YouTube as a viewer before I was a YouTuber. And, you know, there were all these obnoxious people that were like, it's my birthday month. Send the love. Send the love. It's my birthday month. And I just... Eh. <laughs> you know, eh, eh, eh. So I won't... I'm not that person, I you know. Yeah, I'm just not that person. Um, and how dare they? Like, who has a birthday month? Please. Oh, please. Yeah. Oh, you're a Sag too. I'm so, oh. Oh, I bet I can guess. I bet I can guess. Does it have, is it? <laughs> we'll talk after. I'm so not surprised, Stella. Um, okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, exactly. We are not that way. Yeah. Laughing so hard. <laughs> see, you guys, you get it. You totally get it. All right. Let's see who's got the, the I think it's Kelly. Let me double check Vicky. I think Vicky just did it and I was laughing. Oh, Vicky's out. Okay. I'm going to start counting it down. Anne totally agrees. Totally. Yeah. Oh my God. So many sages. Um, the chat keeps rolling, but I have to keep going out and back in to keep video rolling. Uh-oh. I don't know. I, that might just, I think that might be you. I, I, how are you? Yeah. Um, Carly's just watching on my internet that's available here, and it seems to be working fine for her. Um, that sucks, Wendy. Sorry about that. If you want to, you can, oh, no. I don't know how to help. I'm not that good technically. Okay, I'm going to call this for Kelly. Congratulations, Kelly. Shiva, hello. Oh, my God, another Sagittarius. This has to be like a record. This is interesting. This is a, this is this is um, this is a statistical anomaly. <laughs> this is like really. All right, calling this for Kelly. Uh, let me give you your enjoy it. I guess that's going to be a big box because they don't really. Um, yeah. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah, right, Kelly, and we don't need a button. Or now, you know what, I'm going to make it anyway, but you don't have to put it in the thing. Sorry. Was it 35? 30. 30, okay. Yeah, because I need to start PayPal anyway, and the first one always takes the longest. Kelly H. Okay. Lizzie Capricorn. Scorpions. Oh, my God, Suzanne. Wow, I bet that was an interesting house. I think so. I, I, I feel like, I mean, you know, who knows really who can say, but I, I do feel like Sagittarians tend to be the custodians of things, like they're the ones that want to. And sometimes we're misunderstood, like people think that we're really materialistic and that we, you know, it really matters to us, like the, you know, the materialism. But it's not about that. It's about the conserving, it's conserving um, I believe, anyway. All right, don't mix me up. I got to get the PayPal button, link button thing started. Husband is Sag, but is and now how often? <laughs> That's probably wise, Wendy. That is probably wise. My man doesn't know how much I visit me either. <laughs> so. All right, number one. Just for the record, just for the record. And then you can. And then. Yes, okay, so PayPal is functioning. Muji, hello Muji, welcome back. 
Okay, next we have the two hammered wide cuffs that I got. This is the day that they invited me into their back room, which was so much fun. You know, I brought my toolbox and everything, and I did put the link to their eBay. Ginger, thank you so much for the super sticker. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Thank you so much. That is awesome. <laughs> wow. All right. So I found these. Um, I, 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 well, they wanted me to evaluate everything or look at everything and kind of separate the stuff that should be separated, right? So I found some diamonds for them and some gold and, you know, some, some nicer things, some uh, real pearls. And I agree. We are collectors that love to use what we have. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my hubby introduced me to the YouTube world. I don't know where I've been all of this time. I enjoy myself immensely. Hello, everybody. Hello, Lexi. Oh, thanks. I thrifted that at Trinity. I think I got it the same day or right around the same. No, this was more recent. It's a child's project. This is tinfoil covered like paper towel tube. But these are old. These are, <laughs> thank you, Kelly. These are the old um, ornaments and then there's a little bell up here. And I like it because it's totally flat. So we're starting with these. So this, so the story of these is they let me purchase them, you know, at the end of um, my session there in their room going through everything. Um, they went and got a price and they, and they let me get them. Um, because they weren't sterling. We weren't sure if they were or not. Um, they really look like it, but they're they're not. So they're either silver plated or alpaca and they're they're pretty great. They're great as a pair. Um, like super chic. Like they remind me of the Paredes, actually. I do really like them together. And you can size these. I also like the way they look if you wear them so that this side shows more, you know. Um, and they sort of get narrow in the middle and then wider at the ends. So they're kind of organic looking. They're really great. They're just really, really great. I started them at 25, which is a good buy for what they are. You are a YouTube addict. No TV or social media, just YouTube. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. I do some social media, but um, mostly just to try and see what the people I know are doing. Like, I don't go out into social media. I just try and, like, pop in on, you know, the people that I know that do it. So, so there's these, and they're totally, um, you can make them, right now they're rather large. They will fit a larger wrist, but you can definitely make them fit you. So... Yeah, I mean, I mean, and starting with 25 for both, that's pretty good. Did you know that the most beautiful curve on a woman's body is her smile? Well, that's lovely, Lizzie. I can see you smiling when you write that. The YouTube thing. Yes, the YouTube thing. Okay, let me see what that is. What is it? The Sagittarius is Unite. The Betty Cook look-alike. Oh, totally. Yeah, 100%. Yep, yep, yep. You read my mind. Okay. So is this a pass? This might be a pass. Uh, I think they are. Let's go to the next. What's the next? Oh, it's the Missoni for Target. I started it at 10. If those are a pass, can I see those? Oh, yeah. I might want them. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Oh, I don't know. They would really... You would have... too big. Well, you have to, I didn't squeeze them because I wanted, I you, little tiny wrists. you have to, you, it's okay to squeeze them. I'm scared. I will squeeze it for you. I'm just giving it to you. Okay. No, you don't have to give them to me. No, they're for you. No. It's too late. They're super cute though. It's, I, they do work on you. Know, they I remind me of the this. Peretti ones that Trini Woodall wears. Let me see. <gasps> I don't know. I can't see what they look like. They look good. Do they? Yeah, especially, I love the way, actually, those are the best bracelets you could possibly want. 
Yeah, I because like of your and ink. And stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like anything colorful. Okay, can you just put your arms in? Yeah, because I'm, I'm like just and just I know just squeeze it in so they don't see you. Don't don't move my chair though because I need to so, my hair tie so it's yeah. So she's just gonna squeeze her arms in. You won't get to see her. <laughs> All right. I came from the gym. I don't want to be on camera. They look really good. Oh, they good. look awesome, actually. They really look great. Awesome. All right. All right. For you, Carly. Thanks. I was looking at them like, nobody bids on those. I kind of think they're I for want you. To. They're totally for you. Okay, meant for you. Okay, Annalise Soul. I'm sorry. They're going. They have to, sorry, Annalise. <laughs> <laughs> Annalise just bit. No, Carly got him first. Also fell in love with them. Carly, yeah, she <laughs> fell in love with them. She was, she was. They're on her body and they're not coming off. I will find you something else. You know, Annalise. it's rare that I like get up and I'm like, wait, can I see that? She <laughs> never does. She hasn't done it. She's been with me for a Almost year. A year yeah. yeah, she hasn't done it once. <laughs> you yeah, no, said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You need them in sterling, exactly. Um, okay. So let me cross those. Uh, okay, so now we're doing the Missoni for Target. Okay, I just want you to know, like, this is actually, this is Paris. This is Camo Paris. Like, there are, there are, uh, there's jewelry by this company that sold on first dibs. Like, it's, it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty elevated, hi, Shannon. It's a pretty elevated um, designer, right? You can't really see it on the pink. Um, but this is fabulous, and I love the way it looks with the Masoni. See what I did? Like, I was having, I was so inspired putting this, like, cozy, chic thing together. Look at it with the, um, the, look at that. The carved kind of purse and the, I mean, this is sophisticated. And then there's also, um this this is the mother of pearl inlay look look so i just kind of wanted to show you like even though it's missoni for target and i'm starting it at ten dollars look at how it elevates you know um cozy fall chic exactly yeah vintage me cat says they are great on you carly i'm sure you can see that Sorry, sorry, this is really want. <laughs> okay, well, we started it at 10, and it's never been, it's like, it still had the folds. Both the scarves had the, the folds. Oh. Oh, the brooch. Muji, I, did I not see it? When did you email? It's possible, I did not get to my email today. I had a crazy, crazy day. Um, can you text me which brooch? Peg says 15, the purple one. Oh, are you talking about the, um, you were waiting for this, right? You were waiting for the dragon's breath. I put it under the, uh, oh, okay. If you, I think maybe you want a silent bid on this or maybe a maximum bid or something. I don't know if that's it. Uh, I don't know. You can text, <laughs> and I, if you if you need to leave or something. Um, it what the oh the dragonfly. I don't have it. Oh the dragonfly. That you saw in the video. I didn't buy that. Was it a it was a dragonfly pendant and it was like blue oceany blue. I never bought it. And I feel so terrible now that I didn't respond to you. Oh, yeah. I'm going to find you another one. I, I had it in my hand. I can find you another one. Um, okay, so I'm so sorry. The purple brooch. Did I show it in an... Oh, it was the dragon's breath. Yes, yes, the dragon's breath. This is coming up. Uh... Right, because at the end of the other auction, you said you were waiting for this. So where is it? It's coming up. It's number 14, and I started it at $80, and it's in sterling silver. It's an extremely nice example. So if you want to put in an absentee bid, you're welcome to do that. I will. You can do it right now, just the way you texted me, okay? 
Um, and I'm going to call this for, I'm going to count this down right now. Peg is the top bidder on the Missoni. Yeah, the Dragon's Breath, very, very, very desirable. So I have to do it at auction. I didn't realize. I, no, that has to, that has to be auctioned. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Counting it down. Ten, nine, eight, going once for the Missoni. This is how it was folded. Like ten, so great, so wearable. Ten, nine, eight, going once. Seven, six, five, going twice. Me too. Me too. Even with jeans, like a jeans shirt, you know with a collar. Uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. Congratulations, Peg. You could just put that in a padded bubble. And, oh, I don't know how much it was for. 25. 25. Okay, so let me, let me write that. Number three. Number three. And I will definitely see Muji if you want to, um, you know, text if you if you feel like, you know, you don't want to hang around all night, you can text and I will not forget to, to put it in. Lot three. Twenty five. All right. Thank you for your bids, everyone. Okay, now we're doing the KMO Paris. Leather link necklace, which I love so much. <laughs> this is a really great one. This is all leather wrapped links. It is signed KMO Paris. Uh, well, hello. What are you doing here? You making trouble? You're going to knock over my tray? Okay. Camo. Paris. And, and look at the quality of the letter. All right. We have black, kind of a luggage, and a tan. The tan is getting blown out, but it's actually a tan leather. Here, you can see it better there. It's kind of fabulous. Here it is on the long side. Super great. Just just really, really great. But, you know, it's the French thing. Okay, Vicky is the first one in at 45. We are at 40. Oh, actually, Vicky instead. Okay, Vicky just power bid to 55. We are at 55. And Sarsar says, oh, don't be sorry. All's fair in love and accessories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Vicky has power bid on this. Uh, the current bid is 55. It is fabulous. I actually like it doubled over. Um, so that it's that chunky link look, but you know, but like a variation on on the theme. You know, and then actually, I want to show you. If you wanted to do creative with it. You, you double it like that, and then you clasp here with a pin. So that's like the advanced move with accessorizing, right? You clasp it this way with a fabulous pin. See what I'm doing? And then it's just super chic. Like if you have like a Maltese cross kind of shape or anything, or a black, like a black Weiss would be incredible. Um, yeah, it's a really pretty one. It's a, it is. It's kind of a forever thing. It's one of those deceivingly simple. All right. So Vicky top it at 55. Stella says she's out. I'm going to start calling this. <laughs> I'm going to start calling this for Vicky. 10, 9, 8 going once. Seven six five going twice. Next bid would be sixty. We are in fair warning number one, fair warning number two, and sold. Congratulations, Vicky. And that was that was a good deal. That was a good deal. 
I didn't want to say it while you guys were bidding, but I was very surprised to see a necklace made by KML Paris on first dibs for over a thousand dollars. No joke. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Vicky. I'm going to make the link right now. If you can get to it, it's okay. If not, we will do it later. But that was number four. Yeah, so pretty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's really true. I was very surprised. Um, okay, stop texting me because you're blocking me from making the button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she almost changed her mind. Yeah. Well, just because you see it for that doesn't mean it is. But, you know, um, and first dibs tends to be the very top of the top, um, you know, for the people that just want what they want. Like, you know what I mean? Um, lot number four. There it is. Yeah, I don't think first dibs is always based in reality. Most of the time, it's at the top of reality, and sometimes it's just not, you know. So I don't know. But anyway, I was just surprised to see it. So, um, okay. So now we're doing the next. So this is all my cozy chic look, right? This is the mother of pearl inlay. This is amazing. This is such a lovely, lovely thing. Um... I mean, I just can't stress enough how much I like this. It reminds me of the old YSL. It's just very 70s, cool. It's one of a kind. It's artist made. It's like if you're going to someone's house for holiday, you can really use something like this. You know, you can hang it around your neck. You can put it cross body. Or you can just hold it. Oops, there goes my mannequin. You can... <laughs> oh, thank you, Vicky. Or you can just hold it like a little clutch. You know what I mean? Like a just lovely little clutch. And, oh, you got, wow, you guys are bidding. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. And I did comps on these, too, and I was surprised by how rare they were. There was nothing like the one that I had. There was maybe one or two not as nice that were also of this era that, this, that were carved um, and they, you know, they were not, they were not inexpensive. And it's on the black cord. So I know, just really, really cute. Um, <laughs> oh, it's a shame you already packed up the other things. I was like, oh, let me put them all on the mannequin. <laughs> okay. Okay, Valerie, Valerie has a top bid at 60 right now. Stella is under at 55. Donna and Stella came in. Actually, Donna was before Stella at 55. And then Stella is at 65. Yeah, it's just great. Really, really great. And then after that one, there's this one. Don't forget. Also superb. This one will hang, this one will hang really nice on, on the body. You know what I mean? Well, they both do. This little Bombay shape. Yeah. But we're doing this one now. Yeah. Okay, a real classic. Totally delightful. The Mother of Pearl. Um, everyone, this, the last Sunday of this month, I'm going to be doing accessories. Vicki says she's out. Okay, thank you, Vicki. So if you are a member and you have access to the last Sunday of the month thing that I do, it's going to be like a pop-up sale and I'm going to be clearing out. I have, I have a scarf fetish and I have too many. I have the most beautiful scarves. I have the most beautiful scarf collection out of anyone I have ever met and I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to do the pop-up sale. It's going to just be for you guys. You know, because I, and I have to do it that way because there's so many people that watch now and they watch for jewelry mostly. And I don't want to turn them off by showing them other accessories. So if you're interested and you're not a member, join. It's $2 a month. You'll have access. Um, and if you're not interested, then you won't be bored with it, you know. 
But that's what I'm going to be doing last Sunday of the month. It's going to be um, scarves and little purses and all kinds of great little accessories that I have lying around. Oh, um, what am I saying? Yeah, you know, to join the channel, right? If you join the channel under there, um, I do a, I do like a, like an intimate chat thing the last Sunday of every month where we can talk about whatever like comes up over the course of the month. And sometimes I show you how to find things on eBay. You know, it varies what it is. But this 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 month is going to be a pop up of all like the fun accessories that I have too many to use in my lifetime. So it looks like Don is going to get this. Everybody else is out. Valerie, yeah, I'm going to count it down. <laughs> yeah, ten, nine, eight, going once. Yeah, I, I mean, it, but I have the nicest things. I mean, they're all so special, you know, because I had the shop for so long. And, I, you know, it's that shopkeeper's thing, like, ah, uh, you know. But how many can one person use? You know what I mean? Um, but my scarf collection, like you guys, you would, like, I could have, like, I could have, like, eight hours of content just on my scarf collection, and it would be compelling. Like, that's how nice they are. Um, okay, I'm counting it down for you, Donna. Thank you for your patience. 10, 9, 8 going once, 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning number one, fair warning number two, and sold. Congratulations, Donna. Thank you so much. Yeah, you did. You got a beauty. There you are. I'll make the link to the button now. Um, you could just put it in one of the, the padded envelopes and I'll... Okay. Because I, I... Oh, a flat rate... Um, one of the bigger ones yeah i'm gonna make it it'll fit in a small flat rate mm -hmm. and then whatever but you don't you don't have to do you don't have time to make the small flat rates oh the little box yeah so okay i'm confused now okay it was it was lot number five right mm -hmm. i'll just put it aside with the notes on it oh perfect <laughs> yeah You got a treasure, Donna. All right. The link to number five is ready. You're so welcome, Donna Reed. Okay. Now we're going to do the next one, and that is the quilted pattern. There's the inside, by the way. You can see it better on this one. It is actually carved out. It's not heavy. It's light. This one has the brown braided cord. Doesn't it? And this one has a knot that I left in there. Just chic and well cared for. And again, this is elevated. This is, you know, this has some sophistication to it. I got a little smudge on there. I got to get it off. How did I manage that? I didn't make a peg a button. I thought it, oh, peg. What was, which one was she? Uh, she was lot three. Lot three. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, Peg. I will make you the button now. Here, let me put this on on her. Oh, wait. We did make her one. I just did. forgot to send it. I oh, just checked okay. It. All right. Never mind. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm going to put it on me then. Yeah, it's, it's good for the soul. It is really good for the soul. This is what it looks like. Oh, look, it's even going to look cute with crazy stripes. There it is. This little thing. Okay, Vicki says 45 on this one, and, <laughs> and I can't believe, I thank you so much for the super chat. I can still see that up there. That is so amazing. Thank you, thank you. This is like, this has such a nice shape. It's like that, um, it's like a clutch. It's like the shape of a clutch or like the pillow thing. 
from Asia, and then I will get, yeah, here, I'll do it now. Okay, there we have it. Oh, it's the best. And again, it doesn't it remind you of the old YSL? You know, it's the same era, very 70s, very late 70s, just fabulous. It's fabulous. You know, it's like if it was metal, metallic. It's, it's great. Yeah, and Vicky has already bid. I think Vicky's going to steal this one. <laughs> Vicky, oh my God. You are going to get lucky, my friend. <laughs> I'm really excited for you. I'm excited and slightly jealous. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, okay, so the next bit on this, this gorgeous little clutch, cozy, chic, long cord. You could do crossbody, you know, imagine it with velvet, silk, the whole thing. All right, I'm going to count it down. Vicky is the only bid. 10, 9, 8. This is so good. Look at it. 10, 9, 8 going once. Don't sell anything. <laughs> okay, we'll wait until you get back. That's great. That's like something I would write in someone else's chat. That's hysterical. Okay, 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning. Sold. Congratulations, Vicki. You got it. Congratulations, Vicki. I know you really wanted one of these, so. And I will make the button. And you got it for first bid. You did really well on that. I think everyone just knew that you should have it. Okay. And that was number six. Uh, yeah. Yay! Vicky says, yay! Yeah, I think everyone was like, okay, Vicky. Where are the flat rate boxes? I could probably just put them together quick. Oh. They're over there. Okay. They're like behind. They're in front of the Chanel boxes behind the metal. Right there. No, no. Look at the black tables. Black tables. <laughs> Underneath. There you go. Okay, she's got it now. Okay. Four or five. I feel like I'm playing hot coals. I know. Warmer? <laughs> <laughs> Warmer? <laughs> All right. Okay. Your link is ready, Vicki. Sheila Lee says, congrats, Vicki. Yeah. Excellent, Vicki. Yeah, Vicki, you can breathe now. I think everyone knew because you were just bidding on the other one. That's so, what a nice group. Okay. So now we're doing the cashmere made in England plaid scarf. This still has like the original folds, you know? like that not, not worn once. Here is the, uh, and it's an older style. Like you have to, you know, I mean, it's kind of, it's a forever, it's a heritage thing, but, um, but you have to be able to appreciate it. You know what I mean? It's, so there it is. And I started at 25. Thank you, Vicki. So, and thank you, Anne. Anne says 25. I'm going to unfold it. Actually, you should see it. Um, it's just what you would expect it to be. It's very, you know, traditional, the cashmere. There it is. All right. And amazingly, the original, I love that it has the original folds. There it is extended. Can I get far enough away to show the length of it? I don't think I can. I don't think this is going to happen. I have no idea what there I'm doing. There you are. Yeah, I had a feeling. All right, I'll just put it around this this person here. Are there instructions? The jaunty. The jaunty. Oh All right. <laughs> okay, Sharon came in first, Valerie. It is. It's very soft and cuddly and thick. It's the good old, you know, it's good. It's it's the lovely cashmere. And I'm going to make sure I fold it exactly the way that it was folded because it was such a treat to just see it do that thing. See? Look at it, like with the fringe, perfect. 
Isn't that nice? Like straight out of the gift box. Oh, I got it. Oh, she's got it. <laughs> there are instructions. Oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's really pretty. Sorry, guys, bear with me. I'm tracking that. She's tracking it. Mm. And then, um, and the label is delightful and, and it's familiar. There you, go. you know, like, I, it's like right on the tip of my brain who that was. Where did I put it? I put it on the inside. A great gift. Yeah, no, super great. Yeah. I mean, how much would this be in today's world, you know? And probably not made as well. I mean, let's be honest. Even 100% cashmere scarves aren't made the way they were back then. So it looks like Sharon's going to grab this for, it was a great find. It was a really great find and just so traditional and, you know, great. Yeah, and festive. Okay, uh, 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 I'm going to start calling it, 10, 9, 8 going once, Sharon has it at 40 right now, 40 is the bid to beat, Sharon has the top bid at 40, 7, 6, 5 going twice, fair warning, nothing is, fair warning, fair warning, we are all in, we are all done and sold, congratulations Sharon, you are the winner of this new vintage. Uh-oh, Carly's on a tear. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> it's okay, Carly. <laughs> I, I can do those. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Hold on. My nose is running. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm a mess right now. Oh, I'm, oh yeah. She's, 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 uh. Yeah. Okay. So I think you are talking, Shannon, or were you, I think you just texted me about the um, dragon's breath and it's, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So Christina says, hi, Dawn. Hi, Christina. Hi, everyone. Okay. Let me make that button. I think it was 40. Yeah. Okay. Lot seven. Lot seven forty. Oh, you're welcome. You are very welcome. Yeah. Okay, lot seven. Oh, Ruth. That can happen. Oh boy. Hmm. Does anybody know how to get rid of a delay by phone? I don't know how to do that. All right, let me make this. This is number seven. All right, all done, ready to go. Sheila says, hello, Christina, hello, Christina. Okay, it's time for the, some really special Tasco. There's some really special Tasco coming up. This is from Alan's Ancient Jewelry Box. Oh, you always watch on your phone. Okay, so Ruth, go out and come back in. See if, you know, see if it, see if it works. Um, here it is. And again, I couldn't clean, I couldn't bring myself, I mean, it, you know, the person who wins this can do it and it'll probably look better, but it's just such a consistent patina. Um, I called this the double headed beast pin pendant. It has a symbol signature that, that I've never seen before. Like this, you know, I'm still learning too. There's always new things to see. And it has something very interesting. It's, um, 
Oh no, do you know what that is? That's the bell, I have seen that. Okay, I wanna show you the marks. It was just the angle that I had it. See, I had it like that when I was looking at it, but if you turn it, you can see. It's just Isabel. So anyway, that's the, uh, this is sterling. It's just the patina on it, right? There's the, the pendant thing. And then look at the motif. Yeah, it really does need to be cleaned. I should have cleaned it. I could have cleaned it. I mean, I didn't have to polish it, but I could have cleaned. I'll clean it. You know, like this this can be this can be cleaned. Don't look at that though. Just look at look at this beast. Have you ever? I've never seen anything like it. And it's large and amazing. I'm going to put it on the torque. This is my kind of thing, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm happy to bid on this if no one else bids. Like, I, I love this kind of mythical creature thing, and I don't have a lot in my collection, although I am separating from things now. At the goal. <gasps> Look. And it says a lot because it's such a cool, such a cool design or symbol or whatever it is. <laughs> Maddie says hi. <laughs> what did I start this at? I started this low. I started it at 75. I started this at 75. Yeah, it's really great on a truck. You can put it on a, on a, a chain as well. Should I try polishing it a little bit? No, I don't want to polish it. Actually, I'm not going to polish it. I'm just going to clean it, and then it'll still have that excellent patina. Um, yeah, this is really a great one. This is really great. Vicky said, all right, we have a bid. We have a bid in. We have a, a phone bid in. 75 right now, first bid. Is it a sound bidder or? It's, uh, it's Vicky. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And it is grand and wonderful. And it has the two hallmarks right there. That does say 925. All right, Joanne says 80. Yeah, mythological twins, symbol of the house of jewelry fanatic. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, if I ever design jewelry, if I ever, that's brilliant, James. If I ever do my line, I'm going to have the symbol be the symbol of the jewelry fanatic. The twins, it is kind of that, right? But it's also so mythical. When I first looked at it, I was like, is it Gemini? But it's, you know, it's two heads. Look at the turquoise. The turquoise is really nice, too. And it's just been sitting in that box for so many years, and it's all smooth. There's no cracks. There's no nothing. Mrs. Davenport. All right, I'm going to... It's making me nuts, To Vicki says she's out. Do I have a paper towel? All right, I'm just going to get rid of the, the, the dot. What are the letters inside the circle? Oh, it says Tasco. Um, it's Tasco, Mexico. They're very old. It's an oldie, oldie, oldie. It was in that jewelry box. It says Tasco, Mexico, 925, and then PC, PCA or... OC... A, no, it's a PCA, 925 Mexico Tasco PCA, and then it also has like the bell thing here. See that? Here, there. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't know enough about it. It's a serpent motive. Yes, it's a two-headed serpent. It is to die for. It is really to freaking die for. Yeah. I love it. I really love it. 
look at it with the size of this. This is this is valuable. Like this, you know, you guys. Vicky's getting a steal right now. Is it still Vicky? I think it's Vicky. Who's the top bid? Uh, <clears throat> Joanne. Oh, I didn't hit. Oh, it was Joanne. Joanne at 80. Joanne at 80. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, Joanne. Oh, new one. Oh, Steen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It does have a modernist feel to it, too, but it's ancient. It's so old. It was in that jewelry box, that untouched jewelry box that Alan had. Um, yeah. I Okay. Um... I'll be right back. I'm going to get, um, I'm going to, oh no, I'll put it on, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on here. Oh, the bell is an eagle. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's the eagle bell thing. Okay. Let me get that out. I don't have a lot of table to work with, so that's going to sit like that. And then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get a, a little um, paper towel or something so I can get that spot because it's bothering me. I'm not polishing it, okay? The patina is going to be untouched. I'm just going to get rid of the, the dirt that's there. Yeah. Um. <coughs> this one, yeah. Okay, much better. still a little dirty but you can see it now like I couldn't get past it <laughs> I couldn't get past it all right oh it's the Aztec feathered serpent I Kate awesome Oh, it's a symbol of rebirth. Wow, that's really cool. That is really, really cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's like a scarab. This is great. It's very, it's just cool. It is, it's just cool. All right, so I think Stina is out. So James says, yep, Aztec. That is really cool. Oh, everybody hit the thumbs up. How many thumbs up do I have? There's a there's a bunch of people here. I love it on the throat. I really do. And it's also a pin. Don't forget, it's also a pin. All right, I'm going to start calling it, I think, uh, I don't know who else was bidding. It was looks like Steen and Joanne. Yeah. All right. I'm going to start counting it, counting it, counting it. Get ready, Joanne. 10, 9, 8 going once. Hello, Kathy Levin. Hello, Gina. Fancy you two coming in at the same time at the same place. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, oh, 66 likes. Christina yeah, says 66 okay. likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Christina. Um, Okay, 66 likes and we can do better. There's, there's, that's not a lot. <laughs> that's like, that's, that's like half of the people that are going in. Oh, now there's 73. Okay, that's awesome. Isn't that funny? The two of you should pop in at the same time, just like that. Oh, 74. Awesome. Thank you so much for, for doing this, everybody. Let's see if we can get it to 100. I really, you know, it is great to get it to the 100 mark. I'm going to count this down for you now, Joanne. 1098 going once, 765 going twice, sold. Congratulations. Thank you for your patience on that one. 
It's a beauty. It's a real, real beauty. You're going to get a big box. There's a, you've got quite, quite a box coming. Um, let me put my torque away. And ah, the quetz, the quetz, I can never say that. Yeah, quetz, it doesn't, it doesn't pronounce the way it's spelled. It's like, it sounds like an O, right? Quetz, uh, whatever. It's quetzacodal, isn't it? Quetzacodal. Quetzacodal. There's like an, it's oxy. It sounds like an oxy sound now. Like it actually sounds like an OX. You, what are those little animals? You know the little animals? That ha they're like little. <laughs> I need a, I need a better yeah, they're like little. They're like little animals. They live in an aquarium. I think they're like water animals, but they have like little legs and feet. They're like a form of salamander. Oxy, oh, oh, an oxalotl. An oxalotl. Yeah. It sounds like that. That word sounds like oxalotl kind of sound. Okay. Oxalotls are really cute. I know. I wanted one, but they're really hard to take care of, so yeah, did not get. Okay. So what was the top bid on that one? Ninety. Eighty. Mm -hmm. 90. 90. Okay. 90. Number eight. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me make that now. Beat is a cool name. All right. So nice to see both of you here. Thank you for, for popping in, my friends. Oh, I don't know if I actually changed it. I might have changed it, but not saved it. Let me double check it. Was it number eight? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did. I did change it. Okay. I wasn't sure if I hit saved or not. I did it so fast. It's a great piece. It's a really great piece. And now we're doing some old micro mosaic. I split up. I was tempted to put them all together because they had been in the box for so long, but they were kind of different. So like, you know, this was the collection that was in there from this person, right? There was this one, which is like, the, whoops. There was like this one, which is like the multicolor, which is very, very fine. There was this one, which was my favorite. I love the red background and the different flowers. Like this is just, I just love this one. And then, there were these two, which are, yeah, now these all came out of that ancient jewelry box, right? And these actually are micros. Look at the one, look at this one with like forget-me-nots. These are older. So I had a really hard time figuring out how to do it, so I decided to keep these two together. I felt like the person who got one should get both and that they should stay together. And they're really, you know, like it's a fun way to wear like old brooches in a modern way. You can wear a high collar and just put two together. I actually did a short video on that, a video short. So um, <laughs> who is Aztec historian? Yeah, so Kathy says 50. Thank you, Kathy. Um, yeah, so they're really great. So, so I did these two together. And then the other two, I just separated because they were two different. Um, but these are ancient and they were sitting in that jewelry box. You know, that jewelry box, how this. OK, so this this came out of that box. This was one of the more recent things and it was old. I think it stopped in the 70s, but it was basically unopened since the 70s. Um, Look, this came out of that box. This is French. It's signed France. This is a parasol. Um, this came out of the, that box. This is 14 carat. This is like Victorian or Edwardian. Watch that video if you haven't seen it. So anyway, so Kathy is in at 50 for these two. Nice old, ex really excellent examples. Yeah, right, more brooches. But these are so hard to find. I mean, they're really rare. And they've been sitting there for so long and they're completely undamaged. You know, just really beautiful. 113 in the house, yay! Old sea clasps.
Wow, these really are old. I can't. Vicki says 55. Thank you, Vicki. I'm going to put them on. I'll just tuck them onto the pillow. Easier to hold. Kathy says 60. And this was a real departure for me. I want you to know it was really hard for me not to like clean everything and make it, but it was all so ancient in its way that I, I really just left everything, you know. Um, Vicki says she's out. So this is a steal. This is $30 for each of these. They're at least 100 years old at least all right we are going to start counting it down for kathy 10 9 8 going once seven six five going twice fair warning fair warning all in all done sold congratulations kathy oh my god what a steal that was what a steal this one especially i love this one this is a beautiful this would make a beautiful pendant okay they're delicate all right, don't poke yourself either. You got them? Mm -hmm. She's got them. Okay, she's got them. Oh, I did poke myself. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. All right, so those were the micro mosaics. That went for 60. Those went for 60. Wow, that was a good score. Yeah, it was really, I had to like, I had to do nothing. You know what I mean? Like if I, I knew that if I started and just did a little bit, you know what I mean? So I just said no. Um, and that's why we have the patina like this is sterling. And you can't even, it's just so perfectly consistent. All right, let me make that link to number nine. Number All right, all done. You just needed more brooches. Well, these are special. These are they're, well, they're all special, but these are these are very unique to find now. So the next one is the multicolor. This is like the shape that you see in Aubusson rugs. Look at this. Look, look, look. This might be mo actually. That could be. This might be. There might be some micro in there. Okay, look the different color roses and the background, not seen one like this. Definitely haven't seen one that was tucked away forever for so long. Does it say Italy? I believe if I remember, I did look at it. One of them said, oh, this one says 800. This one's 800 silver. The other one says Italy. So, there you go. It's delightful. It's so, so nice. This is when it was old, old, old before it was um, more mass produced tourist quality. You can wear that as a pendant as well. You can put it on a chain. I don't have anything like this. Has anyone bid? No. No, huh? Okay. Let's see how it looks on if this was like a gold torque I feel like I would use this as an extender and stuff for chains oh I have those Italian I have the the tourist pearls from Italy that were on like the knit cord the gold knit cord this would look really good with um uh oh it would make a great ring I do have a look at that as a ring all right, Dawn has the first bid in at 25. I love it as a, this is a fabulous, fabulous, and it is 800 silver. Okay, uh, so we are at 25, first bid 25, next bid is 30 if anybody wants to get in. Yep, yep, yep. And do we hear 30? We are at 25 looking for 30. 
All right, looks like, looks like Don's going to score on first bid. Oh, here we go. It was a lag. Lots of 30s. <laughs> okay, Carolyn is in it. Carolyn has top bid at 35. All right, I'm glad I waited. That was a lag for sure. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, special. All right, Ruth, we are at 35. Um, oh, can you? Oh, no, you can't tag Ruth because she's in the, she's on the phone. I was going to say tag Ruth, but it doesn't work that way. All right, there it is as a ring. Does, that looks familiar, doesn't, does it not? Look at it next to the amber, everyone. No wonder, no wonder I liked it. That's uncanny. That's uncanny. There it is. The exact shape and size. Wow. All right, let me, uh, I'll get it on a, Okay, top bid right now is 40. Ruth is at 40. I am going to, there, so we can see it. It's an old one. It's pre-tourist, tourist, you know, like what became of the tourist trade. This is an old, look at the quality of it. All right, Carolyn is at 45. Carolyn is at 45. I love it as a ring so very much. That is so great. It's the exact size of my amber. Same scale, same everything. Oh, Kathy can't see the chat. Uh-oh, she's, dri she's driving blind. <laughs> Kathy, you're amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I, you you probably like. I know sometimes if I turn my phone or something, it goes away. I don't know how to how to fix it. Okay, okay. Ruth says she's out, and Joanne is at fifty. <coughs> Beautiful colors in there. All right, Carolyn is out. All right. Oh, you're going to restart your phone. Okay. All right. 10. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for you now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to count this. It looks like everybody went out. So I'm going to count it down for Joanne. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. So cool. Um, fair warning number one. Fair warning number two. And sold. Congratulations, Joanne. This is, this is a treasure. This is really a little, this is a real little treasure right here. All right. Oh, I switched them. That was number 11. So oh. we'll just make the button. Yeah, I picked up, I picked it up. So it's number 11. And we and I started it at the wrong. Wow, you got a deal. You got it for. I started it at fifty. You got it for fifty. Really? That went for fifty? Oh my god! Wait a minute. That's a steal. I think she got it for fifty. We were starting things lower. It's okay. I don't know what we were doing. It's fine. <laughs> we're having fun. It's all good. Okay. The next one we're starting at fifty. That's the one with the red background. Okay. Uh, and, but this is number 11, so I'm going to do number 11, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. If I can find it. They get out, all out of order sometimes. I don't know. There it is. That was a score. Oh, Joanne, you're going to be so happy when you open that box. Oh, bless you. Thank you. 50, 50, wow, okay. All right. Hi, Kathy, welcome back. Oh, that's right, I bid 25, that's what happened. That, yeah. Okay. I was reading, I don't know what I was reading. Okay, oh, I was reading, oh, I, boy, I really made a mistake. I was reading, I was reading um, the starting bid of the dragon pin, but I only saw the 20, anyway. Anyway, okay, so 
I oh, I've been making notes. Oh boy, I really screwed this up. Why do I think <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think I'm not going to I think I'm giving up on my notes. You're just you're, you're making your notes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'll just What number are we on now? Now? We're on number 10. 10. All right, so I'm just going to mark this, and then we're going to do 12 next, right? Okay. Okay, so this is the one that says Italy. Made in Italy. Got the old, uh, the old kind of catch there. Can I get a mask? Oh. My allergies are Oh, just... yeah, yeah. I'm going to get Carly a mask. My allergies are just, like, not holding One up. moment, everyone. Oh, yeah, you sound like you're dying. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Momentary lapse of reason. I love Pink Floyd. My, my mom's, my mom's, my mom's favorite bands were Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin. Those are my mom's favorite bands too. For real? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, good taste. Okay. Um, yeah, make sure you hit the thumbs up, everybody. Christina says hi, James. Are you okay? Yeah, just. All right, it's eight twenty nine. We're gonna try and get through as much as possible. Carly only has until nine tonight. Mm -hmm. This is the one with the red background. This is actually my favorite. Look at all the colors. I don't know. The other one was pretty great too. This is a larger one. Yeah. My mom would not be that young. She she was born in um, nineteen thirty seven. But she was a hip chick. She was a very very hip chick. She was very forward. My mother's first my mother's first crush was Nat King Cole. All right. There you have it. Maddie is in at fifty. You can orient it either way. Um Blind as a bat right now. Okay, it's the bright light. There it is to the side. Just beautiful. 1937, there you have it. Yeah. I love the colors on this one so much. Um, yeah, yeah. Her first crush... And she was really, she was really ahead of her time. She went to the, she was a tomboy. She went to the gym, you know, and back then the gym was like where the men went, you know, and it was like the very male space. And she went there with her father as a young girl. All right, we have... A medieval, yeah, it's very delicate. It says it has the old made in Italy. Um, let me check. I think Ruth has the top it at 55. Yeah, Maddie was in at 50. Ruth came in at 55. So right now we are at 55. Um, I will. It's really beautiful. I'm. It's really beautiful. Oh, how great would this look with red glass? I wonder, I wonder if this was something that this person did. Do you see that? See what's happening right there? They were next to each other in the box. All right, I'm gonna, oh, you can't see any bits at all. I don't know, Kathy. I can't explain it. Can you see your own? Oh, maybe. Oh, are you still writing blind? You can't see your own comments? You're doing great. <laughs> yeah, weren't they nice together? 
Really beautiful. But you could also do it with the blue, you know, the green, anything painted, any of those millefiori. Um, I'm going to measure it fast. Oh, you can see yourself. Oh, you need to go to live chat. I bet you're in top chat. Oh, you would know that, though, wouldn't Of course you would. I don't know. I don't know. I'm no good with the phone. Um, it's about an inch and a, it's about an inch and three quarters wide. It's about an inch and three quarters wide. All right. And Maddie is at 60 and I haven't heard from Ruth. Yeah, it could just be super wonky. It could just be YouTube being wonky. Um, I'm going to do something. I'm going to have a little fun. This is me. Like I, This is when I have the most fun. Ruth is at 65 right now. I just, I just like to do, like, thank you for humoring me, everyone. This is, like, where I get, like, a lot of juice is when I get to play and put things together. I just hung it from the clasp, so it's not perfect. You know, it's just literally, like, hanging through the jump ring. Like, you could do it better, but I just wanted to kind of see it. It's fabulous. It's freaking fab. It's freaking fabulous. That looks like modern and old at the same time. Wow. Wow. This is so vampire's wife. <laughs> okay. Um, it looks like Ruth is going to get this one for 65 because I sense so. Very, very cute. Mr. Krakoian, hello. Thank you for joining. Thank you for saying hi. Thank you for being in the chat. It's the tube. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Thank goodness I just did this now and not before. Okay, it does. It looks just super cool. Just super, just, mag this is magnificent. Honestly, if I put it around my neck, you would just all, it's, you know, you, like on a person, it would come to life. Okay. Uh, Ruth has got it for 65. It is fab and freakulous. It is fab and freakulous. Look at it. Oh, I'll put it on the pink too. Ruth is like, no, don't. I'm winning. <laughs> I just want to, I'm just, because it's going away. I have to do it before it goes away forever. All right. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, yes. My amber ring. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning. Sold. Congratulations, Ruth. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope you put it with red glass, some flat red glass beads especially. That would be awesome. It's called, you got it. You got it, Ruth. <laughs> All right. Here you are. You're covering your eyes. <laughs> I know. Get it out of the freezer. It's in the freezer. All right. Oh, I need to make the button. Yay, Ruth. Everyone is congratulating you, Ruth. We are happy for you. Yay, she says. Um, what did it go for? 65. 65. And it was number 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, 65. I really screwed up my notes. Number 10. Vicki says, yay, Ruth. There you go. That, that is freaking fabulous. I'll probably be looking now forever to duplicate that. I have I have a micro mosaic that doesn't have a red base. It has another base. So I'm going to be looking through. It's got that Aventuring Goldstone. And I have Murano Aventuring Goldstone beads. I'm going to put those together and you're going to see me wearing them. Those are going to be good. It's a new thing. It's a new thing to do. Okay, it's done. The link is done. It is ready. Ruth says, thanks, Vicki. Number 10 is ready. And now we're going to go to number 12, which is the, app, um, the Apple Juice Bakelite Reverse Carved and Painted. 
Uh, I started this at 150 because I had to because they were they were so high up there um, that I couldn't start it any lower. Like they were really getting up there, especially the hinged ones, like up there. So <clears throat> here it is. Reverse carved and painted. Bakelite. Hinged. <laughs> Here it is on the arm. Okay, Ruth says 150. Thank you, Ruth. Yeah. It's uh, it's a real score. It's one of those, you know, it, James, if it was a guitar, it would be a closet classic because that's how you find them now. Like they're just sit in there. Yeah, it's reverse carved. The carving is flowers, but then they're painted. See, it's reverse carved and painted. Google it. Reverse apple juice. Here's your keywords. Apple juice bangle. Reverse carved and painted and hinged. The hinge is important. It's reverse carved, painted, apple juice, hinged. Those are your keywords. Reverse carved, painted, apple juice, Bakelite, hinged. And we are at 150. Oh, the size is, well, it's, um, there's that clink. You hear that? That Bakelite? It's a clunk. Yeah, the clunk. I love the clunk. Oh, it's not mine. <laughs> it's not mine, Lexi. <laughs> um, it's Alan's. They were his mother's and his grandmother's. Um, so that makes it easier because I would have to buy every piece. Yeah. Yeah, a Les Paul. Mm -hmm. A gold. A gold one. With a, uh, what do you call it? The arch, the arch top? Something? I don't know. It's not my thing. It's not my niche. But yeah, so, oh, the measurement. Okay, so I think it's average. I think it's probably got like a two inch diameter on the inside. Yeah, two inch diameter on the inside. So just your average standard basic, but don't forget also adjustable because it's a hinge. Hi, Sabrina. Thank you for hitting the like button. It's a, it's a really cool find, a really, really cool find. And Stella is at 155. Oh, I'll put it on, um, I'll put it on the black pillow. Ruth is at Ruth is at 160. Ruth is at 160. I'm gonna put it on the pink one. <laughs> James is excited. He's like, oh my god, you made a guitar reference. <laughs> the class. I tried. I really tried. I thought I was a bass player. And I got a Dan Electro and I sweated over it and it turns out I have no music. I have the ear, like everyone says, like the musicians that I've known in my life say like, oh, you talk like a musician, you have the ear of a musician. It doesn't come out. If I try to play, it doesn't come out. <laughs> the clunk, yeah. Here it is on the pink, you can really see that color. This is a good display right here. You can really see what it is. All right, and Stella, let us know if you want to bid again. Ruth has the top bid at 160. Yeah, and sunlight. This is pretty good right here. I mean, I, I feel like you can really see it with the ring light on it. I think this is, this is pretty accurate. Stella is at 165. Maybe the car, it would look a little different in the car, um, but everything looks different in the car. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, fab. Fab gear. Gear and fab. And groovy. Also groovy. All right. Yeah, you really can see its prettiness. It's glossy, glossiness. Okay, Ruth is at 170. Maddie, I love your picture. Stella, I love your picture. Sabrina, I love your picture. Christina, I know what you look like, so, you know. Everybody else, you know, think about putting your picture in there. It's nice to see your faces. Hi, Sharon, I see you. Oh, Tamara, I didn't see you sneak in there. Hi, Anne. I know what Anne looks like. I mean, I, everybody else, I guess I pretty much know. Vida. Kathy. All right, Stella. Stella says one. So, oh, Stella, you came in after Ruth. Ruth has the bid at 170. Oh, Sorry. Sorry, that. Carly. It's because yeah, it was the phone. Yeah. I know. It's hard to figure out. I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. <laughs> I just, I really don't know, especially on the phone. I think you have to click. Oh, I actually do know. You know what you do, Donna? You click your D. See where you have the D in a circle? Click that. Click on that thing, not now. But if you click on your D in the circle, it'll have like dots in it and it'll say edit and it'll look like a pencil and then you can add your picture there. All you have to do is click the circle where you want the picture to go. Um, so Stella is the top bid now. Oh, you were stalking. Oh, okay. All right. That's cool. So Stella is, has the top bid at 175. She is bid, uh, Ruth was at 170 and Stella is at 175. So we'll give these ladies a little moment. It's exciting to see. Ruth says 180. Yeah. Have you, I think you, I feel like you've texted me your picture anyway. Or a picture, you know, if you want to, you can text me a picture, you know, your cat or something. <laughs> I keep it in my mind when I talk to you. Because I, I am talking to all of you now. Stella is at 185. Here it is up real close. Oh, you can really see the detail of the carving. I should have done it. You can also see the ring light reflecting, but you can see it. Nice carving, right? Really, really nice. Okay, Ruth has seriously power bid. She is at 200. Ruth has bid 200. Wow. And there's the painting. It's intact. No paint loss. Look at it. No paint loss. None. That is kind of remarkable. <laughs> Maddie says, you go, girl. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Stella's going to let us know. Stella's at 205. Stella is at 205. I'm going to take a little sip of water. I'm going to put my bracelet back on because I love it. I love my bracelet. Cat fight. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I find that when people align like that and they have um, the same taste, they're actually, they actually can become friends, right? Christina can attest to that. Christina has made friends because of the way she's bid with people, oh, you know, they always are drawn to the same thing. Ruth says she's out. Thank you very much for your bids, Ruth. I'm sure bit, uh, Ruth says congratulations to Stella and congratulations, Stella. This is on its way to you. Enjoy it. Take care of it. All right. And 
we don't need to make a button for that one. So let me find it. 205. Okay. Number 12. Okay, it's time for the dragon pin. I didn't realize what this was when it came out of the box. It was so unusual to me. Check this out. Everyone's saying, yay, Stella. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a moment just to congratulate Stella. It is gorgeous. And Ruth says, congrats, Stella. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You would enjoy seeing each other's collections. I'm going to do that, by the way. I think that was, was that you, Sarah? Whose idea was it? Oh, it was Lizzie. We're going to do a thing. I'm going to do it on Sundays. Once again, I can't do it for the entire channel because it would be boring to most people. But for the people that are really collectors and we know each other and we know who we are and we've seen each other buy things over the last few years, I'm going to start doing, on the last Sundays, I'm going to start doing a thing where you can show your collection if you want, right? So like, maybe I'll even do it next Sunday. Maybe it'll be a pop-up sale and it'll be like Stella. Stella can show her stuff if she wants, you know? Or Lizzie, Lizzie can show her stuff if she wants. You know what I mean? It'll be so fun and it'll be just for the group. So you don't have to worry about being on the internet. You don't have to worry about being exposed. It's just gonna be very private. Um, yeah, Christina can do it just for, just for us. And it's not out there, so. Look, this is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun, and it really will. It will. It will. Ha it won't have any of the things that you have to worry about. Like if you think, like, oh, I don't know if I want to show my collection on the internet. It won't have that at all. The nicest stuff you have, you have got from you. Yeah. Well, that's a huge compliment. You have some very nice things, so that's really great. This is extraordinary. This is truly extraordinary. This is a dragon. It's really heavy. It weighs 22 grams and it is 980 silver. It's not 925. It's not 975. It is 980. All right. It's really an, an oldie. And again, it had that patina where I couldn't stand to clean it. And it's super heavy. 22, 22 grams. It's a dragon. Yeah, a carnival of collectibles. James, you should do it too. You can do it. You don't have to show your face. You could just have like your hands and you can show, you know, the cool stuff that you have. Oh, Stella. Stella, you went, you went, I have to say you went in hot. Like when you started, you started out with the good stuff. Like you went straight for the crack. <laughs> Um, yeah, you did not mess around. Okay, there it is kind of crooked, but there it is on the pillow. Yeah, this is, this is, this is not unimportant. Yes, the Haskells, I, it's true. The Haskell, I have kind of a Haskell magic. I was, I think it was like my karma. You know, it started, that's how I started jewelry. I started my jewel, I started learning about jewelry because of Haskell. And I don't think it's an accident that, um, you know, that the, 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 the son of the people that owned Haskell and that was the president of Haskell for 40 years, I don't think it's an accident that he walked into my store. Yeah. Yeah, your scarf given to you by Elvis. That sounds perfect. I'd love to see that. Oh, yeah, you want to see the mark again. Okay. All right. I see you, Kathy. Okay. I see you, Kathy. I just don't want to poke myself. Let me close it. Okay. The starting bid was, oh, I started it at 125. Very, very low. All right, there it is from the side, kind of thick. I, I think, I don't know, I don't, I mean, I'm not an expert on this. It is my weakest link, but I want to say 1950s, 1950s. 
Yes, the uh, umbrella is coming. The umbrella is coming. Okay, uh, Ruth came in first. Ruth has the bid right now at 125. The next bid is 130. I think it's 1950s. It's like the size of a belt buckle. <laughs> it's big. Yes, right. I, I, yes, Delia. I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to blow your mind, Stella. I think I can name your birthday. <laughs> I'm going to give you a clue. Disney. <laughs> All right. Sarah is at 130. Yeah. Here it is on the pillow just for size. Oh, I'll measure it. Why don't I do that? That's a good idea. And it's, it's, it sits real flat. There's no damage. It's, it's like perfectly flat. It's just beautiful. It's got a great patina. I wouldn't change it. You know, maybe a little bit just in the highlights, just a little. Um, it's at 130 right now. That's a bargain, a real bargain. I'm not just saying that. It's a real bargain. And it is two and a half inches wide. Ruth is at 135. Two and a half inches wide. One and three quarters of an inch tall. One, yeah, is it one and three quarters? It's my, my tape is wearing out. One and three quarters, one and three quarters this way, two and a half this way, the size of a belt buckle really. Um, and it weighs a lot. It weighs 22 grams and it is 980 silver. We have a power bid. Sarsars Vintage Jewelry and Creations has made a power bid. We are at 150. Sarsar knows the value. Pretty close. I knew it. Okay. All right. And I knew you would get the reference too. High five, Stella. All right. Sarsar, Sarah is at 154. The 980 silver Tasco Dragon. Ruth is at 160. Look at that beautiful dragon. just great all right I'll put it on the black and Sarah says she's out okay ah all right <laughs> um no <laughs> um okay uh let me call this. I'm getting distracted. I'm going to call it for Ruth, so because she's holding her breath. Ten nine eight sold. Congratulations, Ruth. What is Ruth? Ruth is at one sixty. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Kathy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kathy. <laughs> All right, there'll be more. There's always this, but this, this I have to say, this is a special group. Like you've never seen me not clean anything, or you know, um, one six zero. Ruth says yes. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Number thirteen, and you have four minutes, and then you're going to turn into a pumpkin. Yeah, I'll do one more. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Number 14. Yeah, I get up at 5 and I have to drive to Connecticut after work tomorrow. So it's... Oh, it's that time of year. Yeah. 160. It wasn't number 14, it was number 13. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, wait, wait, let me, I'll do it again. My notes are screwed up. Which I don't know how I managed to do because I'm so careful. Number 13.
That was a good deal. You did well. All right. Okay. Now, I'll tell if you tell. Okay, well, we'll do it, but not publicly. I don't do it public. Okay. Um, it's time for the dragon's breath. So I'm glad you're staying for this. Thank you. This is a special one. It's set in sterling, which you don't often see. It's a beautiful um, size. It's just been sitting in the box forever, just sitting in the box for forever. So just a, you know, just great to find one. Yeah. Here is the back of it. It is. It does have a tiny mark that says sterling, which you should be able to spot. There, you can see it reflected. Oh wow! If that was a ring. I'd be all over it. But yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. It's you can't. You can make it a ring. Here, I'll um. You just don't find them like not used. You know what I mean? Like the fact that it's um. It was just sitting there for all those years. And it's the that color, th that is my favorite. Like you don't, there's there's a darker dragon's breath, which you see more of. This is that lighter pinky one. Look at it. And it's set in sterling already, so you can turn it into a, a ring or whatever. All right, VMK, oh, Suzanne Shirley is at 95. Yeah, it's a real find. It's a closet classic, James. Vintage Me Cat is at 100. The box that it came out of, you guys saw it was an old glove box, right? And he, he was so cute. He was like, it says love on it. <laughs> so cute. I mean, I think it would look better. I think something like this. If you're going to wear it as a pendant, it would be better hanging from a chain. So it has the drop, like the, the torque in this case won't do it justice. But you can see the color on the skin. VMK is at 100. This would be great hanging from pearls. This would be really great hanging from gray pearls. Gray freshwater pearls would be great. Maureen is here. Hello, Maureen. Hello, hello, Maureen. Thank you for announcing you were here. Are, do I know you? Do I know you from the area? Are you that Maureen? Have we met? Thank you so much for popping in and saying hello. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Oh, my connection is going bad. It looks fine. <clears throat> it looks fine on mine. Oh, okay. Suzanne Shirley is at 105. Oh, the back, yes. Okay, different Maureen. All right. It says sterling in there. See it? It's patinaed. I did not. I just left all the the old silver color patina, the old I left every bit of it, but it's silver, so you can clean it if you want. But the stone is remarkably fresh. I love it. It's like a galaxy. VMK is at 120. Thank you, Anne. You want to eat them? It is an inch long and half an inch wide. Oh. So after you make the, you, you can put the button in for this one and then. And then I'll do the rest on my own. Thank you for saying. No, no problem. I am going to put it on the black. 
so you can see it on the black. BMK is at 120. Everyone else is thinking. They're all thinking now. They're like, hmm, do I bid again? Do I power bid? Do I go out? Oh, that's a that's a terrible looking black velvet thing. Here, I'll do it like that. Maybe we're lagging. Are we stuck? It's clear. No one said out or anything. Let me. Well, maybe they're just looking at it. Oh, we're lagging. It's a lag. Uh oh. Uh -huh. I'm losing my connection. Okay, Anne says she's out. All right, so this is going to go to BMK. Thank you, Anne, for letting me know. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened with the connection, everyone. Thank you for staying with me. If you're all still here. Thank you. All right, calling this for BMK. Congratulations. You will love this. It's so beautiful. Um, um, I'll do that now. BMK. It's a great one. And this one's number 14? This one's number 14. Okay. 120. All right, wish me luck without you because my name. Oh, I'll take your list. There's only a couple left. Yeah. The neighbors are arguing. I wonder if it has to do with, like, the internet connection. <laughs> yeah, they're like... on the wall across to my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's time for the parasol pin. 96 likes. Yes. Thank you, Christina. We are so close. Can you, four of you, please just hit the button? Hit the thumb. Yes. Thank, yeah, you really will truly, you truly will. If you turn it into a ring, let us know, okay? Come on, four more people hit the thumb. If you haven't already, it's, let's get to 100. Nine, uh, it's time. This is so special. Look at the patina on this. It's solid. This is so old. Those are little faux pearls. Look how old this is. It's marked France. Somewhere in there. You can, there. It's marked France. It's marked France. Here. You can kind of see it. And then here, here. That's um, a hallmark that I can't make out. And then look, and it has the, um, uh, I'm doing this backwards. It has the French, um, you know, this, all right, I can't do it backwards, hold on. This, this kind of clasp, right? The, um, I forget the name of the instrument. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to blink. Okay, Don is at 105. We do. Oh, 106. Oh. It's 106 likes. Yes, thank you. No, no, we got it, Donna. Thank you, thank you. Look at it from the front, though. I just, I got lost in this. I was thinking about this, and I got lost in it. It's the size of my hand. This is magnificent. Trombone, thank you. Trombone, right. The trombone clasp. It is marked France. It does have a hallmark. I cannot make out. Um, it's solid sterling. This is where I am. The patina is so perfect. I was really careful. So this is where I tested it. You see, you can see it's just a little, see those little, that's where I, that's where I put it on the stone where it's a little, that's the silver. That's, I had to do it. I had to figure out where to do it. So, okay. Um, we have our bid. Vicky is at 150. Yeah. <laughs> Click the like. <laughs> yeah, piece through jewelry. No, they're actually marcasites. They're all, it's all marcasites. It's French. It's ancient. Edwardian. There is nothing missing. That is folds. Oh, no, there's two missing. Look at that. There are two missing. 
You know what? I thought they were part of the design. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think it detracts. And not impossible. I mean, you can get them. They're just, they're the old marcasites, and they're not impossible, even if you put in the newer marcasites. Um, thank you, Carly. But here it is. Here's how, here's how big it is. I, th I think it's Edwardian. It's a pair. It's, oh, my God. All right, Vicky is at 150. Vita is at 155. I, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, not jealous. I, <laughs> with the little pearls at the bottom. This is spectacular. It's French. Oh no, you know what? You can close it. Okay. Yeah, just, just, yeah, because it'll help with the stream too. Oh. When I pause it, I'll just hit play and then close it. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vicki, Maddie came in before you at 160. You're both at 160. I know, it's so awesome. It's really special. Really, really, really. It's so French. Okay. Oh, Vicki is on a lag. I think Vita is at 165. She's been on 165 for about a minute, Vicki. Um, I'm going to call it now very carefully because Carly's getting ready to go. So right now the top bid is Vita at 165. Maddie and Vicki are already, are not already, they are also bidding. Vita has the top bid at 165. It's solid sterling. It's Edwardian, Victorian. It's a parasol. Vicky is out. Thank you for letting me know. Um, this is a six inch ruler and here it is on the six inches. It is um, it is four and a half inches tall. Four and a half inches tall. Old sterling. Old, old sterling. Okay, Vita is at 165. Thank you, Vita. Oh, it's so great. This is a treasure. And if you could feel it, look how chunky the handle is. Oh, there's a circle here. Oh, there's a little circle here. You could hang something from it. You could hang a little charm or a little chain. It probably had a jump ring so that it could hang. Vita is at 175. Bye, get home safe. I will. All right, feel better. Thanks. All right, Maddie is at 180. Maddie is in at 180. I wonder how it looks going this way. It's just killer. Vita is Vita has power bid. Vita is is not incorrect. She is at two hundred. There it is. It's delightful. Really delightful. How great would this look on a hat band too? Because of the shape of it, it's not. You could really do it. You really. Oh my God, a hair ornament. <gasps> Oh, that's McQueen right there. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, you could put this on a belt. Vita is at 230. Again, look how chunky the handle is. Oh, I never weighed it. It's heavy. It's really heavy. Did I weigh it? I should have. It's, it's heavy. Oh, I did weigh it. It's 22 grams. This is 22 grams. Not that it matters. Um, because it's going to stay this way. Oh, Monica, thank you so much for joining. Monica joined. Thank you, every. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Yeah, for Sundays. Yeah. 
<laughs> so jelly of the winner. It looks like, well, Vita and Maddie. Vita and Maddie. Maddie hasn't said what she wants to do. Maddie's thinking. <laughs> Maddie's going to the freezer. <laughs> Maddie says 235. <laughs> it's silly tonight. Yeah. Oh, I don't blame you. No, I mean, it's, yeah. I'll be dreaming of this as well. I mean, with everything in my collection, I, I shall still dream of this. I'm going to put it on the pillow so I can really hold it up. The trump the the trombone is fabulous. It's bigger than the pillow. Oh, it's so sturdy. It's so nice. Okay. There it is. What's not to love? On a headband, in the hair, on a hat, a cloche, a lapel, a blouse, high up on the shoulder. Yes, Maddie, I understand. I'm happy. I'm always happy for the winners. Mary Poppins. Yeah, Ruth says reminds me of Mary Poppins. Um, it's a. It's. It's probably older than that. I really. It's old Edward. It's French Edwardian. Yes, I'm very. I'm. I. I have to tell you, I'm always happy for everyone. Every time they win something, it. It's so nice to know where everything's going, especially when the things are mine. But I have to tell you that this one tugs at my heart. <laughs> it's really wonderful. You have a velvet hat. Okay, yeah. Well, congratulations. It's yours. And um, I'm not going to make buttons anymore because it doesn't make sense. I'll just make them and text them after the, after the show. Um, so let me mark that down. Uh, it was, oh, she put her thing there. Okay, 275 Vita. 275 Vita C. Okay. All right, and I'm not going to put it in a bag or anything. I'll just put it to the side. And... Make sure the parasol. Okay, now we're doing the Edward, no, the Etruscan Revival Victorian. This also, this is four grams. It's 14 carat. It's unmarked. It's, it's, has no markings whatsoever. It's got little turquoises in it. Yeah, be happy. Be super happy. It's so nice. Um, uh, and if by some reason you change your mind, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, like, you never know. I think, you know, if for some reason you did, then, you know, there's some of us that wouldn't, you know, would be fighting over it. <laughs> it's very special. Enjoy it. Okay. So this is the next one. This is also very special. This is ancient as well. This is Etruscan Revival. It's 14 karat gold, unmarked, tested at 14 karat. Uh, it has some turquoise stones in there, most likely Persian. Yeah, there's nothing it won't go with. It's true. It's just one of and it will go with you. It will go with anybody at any age. I think a man could wear it. I think anybody could wear it at any time, anywhere. Fat chance? <laughs> Good for you. Yes. We, yes, yeah, so our relationship has hit that stage, has it? <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh, that's the best. That's the best answer. 
Okay. Oh, you have one very similar. Oh, my God, Kathy. Okay. We are on this one now. I started this at 175. It's 14 karat gold with little um, little turquoises. It is uh, Etruscan Revival, Victorian or Edwardian era. Great detail on it. Um, I had to start it at 175 because of the gold. It's four grams. I mean, it's still cheap for that um, and very usable and wearable. I know after that, after the parasol, like everything is just going to, like what, how, how do you do anything after that? <laughs> I'll put this on the, here, I'll show the back. Have I showed the back? It's, it's old. It's 14 carat. So you can see the old soldering. The old clasp. And again, I would never clean this either. I just can't bring myself to do it. All right. And I'll put it on the pillow. And then if nobody bids, we will move on. And he might be getting this one back. There it is on the pillow. It's a gorgeous old gold pin. I love the turquoise. Yeah. Oh, uh, the, it's uh, no one's bid yet. The, the opening bid on this, it's 14 karat gold with turquoise. The opening bid is 175. A scarf. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't make it any lower because of the 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 14 karat gold. Uh, it's, you know, it's a bargain for, I mean, I did comps and it's a good starting bid. Um, but you have to think that you, you want something like this in your collection if you don't already, you know. Um, this again, this also on a hat band would be superb. You know, it's the right shape. Or you put it on a, you know, a velvet Oh, Maddie. Maddie has bid. Maddie is at 175. Thank you, Maddie. You might score this. You might. You just might. There it is. Look at the detail. It's the real deal. Beautiful old Persian turquoise. All right. Yay, Maddie. I'm going to start counting it down for you. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Hi, Sarah. So nice to see you. It's been so long. Hello, hello. It is. It's a really great piece for Victorian. And you can also use it to attach chains together as well. You know, it's like a shortener or an extender. Uh, fair warning. Fair warning. Sold. Congratulations, Maddie. You scored. You really did. You 100% scored. Um... First bid, I'll just put your name next to it. Yay. Okay. And now we're doing the um, the 10 carat. This is 10 carat. This is 10 carat in quartz. Look at the detail on that. Look at the pretty design. I just called it Art Deco. It was coming up as quartz or tourmaline. So I'm calling it quartz, even though it does look like a pink tourmaline. You know, I didn't, I just, better, better to air, right? So it does look like a pink tourmaline. It was in that part of the tester that's quartz tourmaline, you know, so... So there it is. And it's clearly marked 10 carat and it is old. That's the back of it. Yep. Oh, a black vintage cord bag. Yes, that'll be beautiful. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Did you guys know that Judith Jack did a line of black evening bags with jewels per like permanently sewn on? Um, and she used onyx and marcasite and uh, green onyx and malachite, and it was it was pretty cool. Some frosted glass, 
Um, so this is lovely. This is very old 10 carat bar pin with uh, quartz slash tourmaline. Uh, it's three. Oh, I didn't do the starting bit. I forgot to note the starting bit. Uh, it's 10 carat. Let's start it. It's, let's have some fun. We'll start it at $50. That'll get a rise out of you. 10 carat gold. Tourmaline slash quartz. Old. Old. Not new. This isn't from JC Penny. <laughs> the starting bit is 50. I just made it up because I forgot to note it. I didn't make it to the thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's 100 years old or more. Olive is at 55. This is fun. This is a thank you for saying staying with me, right? Thank you for saying. This is, I'm saying, this is fun. Thank you for staying with me. Truth Seeker is at 60. Truth Seeker came in first at 60. <laughs> yeah, this is my thank you to you. It does look like a pink tourmaline, pinkish. It's a tourmaline. It, I, you know, yeah, it was testing as tourmaline. Sarah says 65. Michelle Maine or Jay-Z Penny. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> you all know what that stuff is. <laughs> yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with it. This is not that. Yeah. Oh, Michelle says, hi, everyone. You just got in. <laughs> yeah, stay with us, Michelle. Stay for a while. There's a few pieces left. You need a button. Oh, I'm, I, I know. I, it's Carly left, so I can't put it in anymore. So I'm doing it at, after the show. I will send. I will send after the show. So this is a lovely little 10 karat gold pink tourmaline, very old bar pin. Truth Seeker is at 70. 10 karat gold. Let's see if I can find the, um, the stamp. Yes, I can. You will be able to see this. It's, it's so clear. Wait. I don't want to poke myself in the eye. Okay, it's right, it's right here. Wow, Sarah's out. Okay. There it is. Right under my finger. See it? See the little, the little mark? Nice gold. Has some age. Yes, thank you, Christina. Yeah, I'll be sending them out. I'll be, uh, I'll just, you know, I have your text so far, the, the two of you that have gotten things. Carly had to go. Carly, it's, it's you know, Carly's got a really early day tomorrow. And then after work, she's got to go to Connecticut. So anyway, there's a little motif. This is 10 karat gold and uh, look at that pink. That's also a stone forward slash tourmaline. Truth Seeker's going to steal this one. Truth Seeker, do I know you? Or are you going to melt it down? You better not. <laughs> Wendy Rand, you, I think you're in, I think you're a lag. Go, Wendy Rand, go out and come back in here. Or Christina, Christina, you can tag her. All right. No, it's uh, it's not a. There's no. There is no hallmark on the the clasp. That's the um. That's the mechanism of the. That's just the little thing that turns it. See, it's not a hallmark. It just says 10k. That's it. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad. So happy to hear that. Look at that pink. Isn't that pretty? It was testing as tourmaline, but I didn't, you know, I'm calling it quartz. Looks like pink tourmaline to me. All right. I am going to start counting this for Truth Seeker. No one else has bid in a while. 10, 9, 8 going once. Oh, my God. 10, 9, 8 going once. Oh, you're going to be mine forever now. <laughs> Seven six five going twice for warning salt. Congratulations, Truth Seeker. Have you texted me? I think it's been a while. Um, make sure you text me so I can send you the link to your button. Okay. Uh, and it was seventy. Wow, seventy dollars. My goodness. Okay. 
Now it's time for the diamond bar black and white Art Deco line bracelet. I didn't clean this one either. I guess I could have. I don't know. I just had to stay away from it because I didn't want to get crazy with it. There's the old patent. It says sterling and then patent and then the the numbers and that is for diamond bar. Sometimes they say diamond bar. This is just the patent for diamond bar. Really pretty. Very, very deco. The black and white. Oh, it's missing a stone. I didn't see that. Which one is it missing? Oh, if I did, I forgot. I think I did, actually. It is missing a black one, which is easy. Wait, is it a black one? Yeah. It's missing a black one. The prongs are still there. So easy, easy. It's heavy. Michelle says, congrats, it is a steal. Total steal, 100% Michelle, yeah. Yep, it went to someone who collects those. Very, very great. Thank you for being here, Truth Seeker. You came at the right time. Okay, do we have any bids on this? This, I started at 75, sterling, silver, authentic, Art Deco, diamond bar, um, black and white crystal lines. There's the missing one, just one. There's the clasp. All right. And if anybody wants to bid, now would be the time. If not, we will pass. And if somebody wants to grab it for a starting bid, feel free. All right. Otherwise, let me know if you want to bid. Next, we're going to do the very, very heavy cuff. I started this at 150. It's 38 grams. No, no, I haven't. Uh, they're, they're not diamonds. They're, it's a diamond bar. Um, it's the name of the company that makes it diamond bar. They're crystals. It's Art Deco. So this is 38 grams of very old sterling silver that I could not bring myself to touch in any way. Um, oh, Sarah's in for 150. Of course you are, the sterling. Yep, and it's super heavy and the, the, the mark on it is super interesting. There it is. It's, uh, it's right here, right there. All right, yeah, yeah, it's special. Michelle says 160. Uh, Michelle came in right before you, Ruth. Nev just power bid. Med is at Nev is at 200. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah, you need a show. You need a show. Um, and yeah, I have an idea, Sarah. Why don't we do the, one of that last Sunday thing? You can come in and just with the group show your collection and whatever. Get, get your feet wet again. Uh, we are at, Sarah came in at 210 right before you, Ruth. Yeah, it's a, I don't know what it is. It's super heavy. We are at 220. Nev is at 220. It's 38 grams the mark michelle is out thank you michelle the mark is uh it's like um half not there see see it's so you see that part that goes down like that's missing some letters ruth has power bid ruth is at 250. ruth is at 250. there's all kinds of symbols in here it is Native American. It says, Ruth came in first, Nev, actually. Ruth came in at 250 before you, Nev. Um, so the marking, I did the best I could. It's like a P and an E, and then some missing letters, and then an EE, -E, 
and an I or an E and a Z and an I and then very clearly under that word it says Boston and then it says Sterling so okay Nev is at 260 Nev is at 260 There's the back of it. There's some more dirt. Oh, I'm embarrassing myself, I swear to God. But you don't know what I went through. Like, it was so hard to ignore, um, to not do it, like, to bring myself not to do it. Ruth is at 265. Yeah. Yeah, it is a thing. It is one of a kind. And everything about it, just that it's been sitting in the box for so long, it became this color so perfectly. I didn't know it was silver when I opened that box. Like, you can't, you can't copy this. They try and oxidize silver. Nev says she's out in the back, something in the back. All right, Nev is out, so... Ruth is at 265. Who else was bidding? I don't know what to do because Sarah, Sarah's probably researching. Here, I'll just wait a minute. Ruth is going to want me to call it for sure. It is very solid. Yeah. It is very solid, very, very heavy. 38 grand. Oh, abundance. Abundance, Maddie. Maddie, you're cool. Ruth says call it. I'm starting to call it. I will count it down for those who are thinking about it. You must get in your next bid by the time I count it down. Okay, everyone. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. We are at fair warning number one. Wendy Rand is in for 280. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy Rand, gobble, 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 gobble. Wendy Rand, Ruth. Okay. No, no, Ruth, we didn't do it. Someone else has bid now. Wendy has jumped in. A new bidder has jumped in. Wendy has jumped in at 280. Yes. So now we are going to give Ruth a minute to see if she wants to bid again. Suzanne Shirley is saying, wait. All righty, right. Uh, oh, I didn't see your, uh, Sarah, I did see your out. I did see your out. Um, so Wendy, Wendy, Wendy has the top bid at 280, Ruth. And see, this is the part where you start to see like, cause it's, cause it's for you too. It's, you know. All right, Ruth says 285. Ruth says 285. It is holding wheat. Wow. Well, the box, I mean, you saw the box has been that box. There was jewelry in that box that was 100 years old or more. So, yeah. Okay, Wendy says she's out. I'm calling this for Ruth. I will count it down. 10, 9, 8 going once in case anybody else wants to jump in. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Top bid right now is 285. Um, next bid would be 290. Uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Uh, fair warning number one. Fair warning number two. 3, 2, 1 sold. Congratulations, Ruth. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Okay. And let me mark that down. 285. And it's, yeah. I think it's Victorian Native American. I do. I think it's like the, a weird, like old, old. Um, okay. Ruth, are you? Don't distract me now. I'm by myself. Okay, two eighty-five. Ruth, it was tough. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, and uh, 
Ruth, you might not get your, 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 I have an order in which I do things. So don't worry if you don't see the link to your button tonight, you will get it tomorrow. Okay, everyone, I'm by myself now. So if you don't see it tonight, you will get it tomorrow. If you pay right away, I can get it out to the post office immediately. Okay, post office is open tomorrow until 3.30. Um, and I would love to get everything out. There's so many packages here because of the car and everything. Next up is the Jade Link bracelet. This was a newer one. We have the Jade Link bracelet and then finally the red glass. Okay, so let's get through these. Sharon says, terrific Ruth. Maddie says, yay Ruth. Joan says, congratulations. Neb says, it's lovely. Ann says, wheat equal prosperity. And doing a great job by yourself, Ruth says, thanks Ruth. Okay, we're starting with this one. This one I think is circa 1970s. This is jade. It does test as jade in the jade I part. Um, I started it at, at 85. It's 16 grams altogether, right, on the scale. It's sterling and like that celadon color. And uh, there's one little thing with it. There's one little, one of the little links has a little bend right at the end, not on that side. I think it's this one. Yeah, this, this little link right here has a little bend. Now here it is. See that? See, it's a little, it's a little, I don't know if you can see. It's a little crooked, not this one, oh, that one. That one right there, see, it's a little, a tiny little bit crooked. Does not detract in any way at all. Sell it on silver, sell it on Jane and silver. The length, <laughs> it's been a while, Stella. <laughs> um, that's great. The length of it is eight inches. It is an eight inch bracelet and it is 16 grams total. I started at 85 steel. Yeah, it's a great bracelet. Oh, everyone's still talking about Ruth's bracelet. Ruth, you got a great thing. Yeah, it's very special. Any interest in this? Starting at 85. If not, we'll move on to the red glass and then we'll say night night. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool, Vita. I never did really get to shop. Uh, I was in California, but I never made it to San Francisco. Um, to do any real shopping. Oh, Joanne, Joanne is in at 85. This is lovely. You know, the jade is nice. It's jade you don't, you you know, it's jade that you got like 40, 50 years ago in the 70s, do you know what I mean? Uh, all right, some new people bidding. Cynthia Bonds has the top bid right now. Ruth says she knew it. Thank you, everyone. Ruth says thank you, everyone. She's very happy. Cynthia Bonds has the top bid right now at 95. Cynthia, have you texted me? Do I know you? Make sure I know you. Um, if you're in this country, uh, text me. If not, email me because I need to be able to send you the link to your uh, button if you win. Oh, Chinatown. That's cool. Yeah, eight inches. Cynthia Bond still has the top bid. Joanne, she went, for, Cynthia was at 95. Oh, uh, eight inches. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Joanne, for saying that. Eight inches, I see it now. Um, all right, Stella says she's out. Oh, I do have the info. Awesome, fabulous. Oh, yeah, James is still, everyone's talking about it, Ruth, even James. <laughs> It's a turkey bracelet. Hi, Marion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Ruth, you would love to get on the chat. Yeah. I wish I could tell you. I don't know how. Can anybody tell Ruth how to get in the chat? I don't I don't know how. Um, okay, so Joanne says she's out. Um, so I think it's just Cynthia. Let me double check. Yep. Okay. I'm going to start calling it Cynthia. Even me, James says. Yeah. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Okay. Ruth says, I'd love to. Please tell me, guys. All right. I'll work on it, Ruth. I'll try and figure it out. Um, 
Uh, a Native American Victorian. Yeah, that's what I think too. Okay. How is she watching? She's, oh, Vintage Me Cat wants to know how you're watching. Are you watching on a phone? Oh, let me call this. I'm calling poor Cynthia. Sold, Cynthia. Congratulations. All right. And I forget what your top bid was. It was one, 110. Okay, 110. And then we have one more thing. 110. Cynthia with a Y. Cynthia Bonds. Okay. If you don't hear from me by tomorrow, Cynthia, it means I had trouble finding it, but it should be there. All right. Um, and let's see now. <laughs> Vintage Me Cat's laughing. Okay. So that was that. Now, this is the very last piece. One of my favorites. I like the flat beads, you know, any kind of aspirin -y kind of bead. It's got the old checkerboard facets. It's very pretty. I started it at $50. I think it's a gold-filled clasp. Um, okay, Wendy says, if you are watching on YouTube, look for live chat under the video and then click on that. That's, a, yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, if you're on your phone, Ruth, Where's the chat if you're holding your phone like this? See, that's the thing that I never remember. And then you just, you're always sad when it's over. You need your own show. <laughs> Let me put this on the, oh, Ruth says, oh, it goes with your it's. Oh, it does go with your, yeah, this is the one. It's, it, they are, um, Slightly, slightly, slightly graduated. Just a teeny bit. Doesn't, doesn't, uh, you know, if you want to hang things from the clasp, you definitely could. Oh, the length. Okay. Yeah, length. Starting bit on it was 50. Daddy drove us. Yes. Ruth says yes, but I don't know what she's saying yes to. Maybe, it was, well, she's not in the chat because she's still texting it. It's the red color, yeah. Or how you format, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know what you guys are talking about anymore. I'm just gonna measure this and do my thing. It's, uh, it's almost 16 inches. It's a little, you're laughing. It's almost, it's the red color, Ruth says. Yeah, it's almost, it looks great with pink, doesn't it? I love red and pink together. Okay, Stella has the top bid. Susan bid 50, Stella bid 55, and um, it's gorgeous. The, the biggest bead is big. <laughs> Someone's getting tired. The biggest bead is big. The biggest bead is big, by the way. It's big. Okay, let me measure it. Um, it is big, though. <laughs> it's an inch. The biggest bead is one inch. Oh, I know. You need to get on the chat. I'm going to help you get on, Ruth. Uh, oh, Suzanne Shirley says 60. So let's, let's, let's work on this. Um, so, Ruth, you said you're on your phone? Let me double check what she says while you guys are bidding. Yeah, she's on her phone. Stella has the top bid right now, 65. Here, I'll wind it so you can see the size of the smallest bead next to the biggest bead. Okay, so that's the range. And um, <laughs> we do have fun here, don't we? It's I think it's 1930s. Um, it's got it's got the spring ring clasp. Put it this way, it's not any later than the 50s. Not any biggest, the bigliest. Yeah, Cynthia says 70. It's glass. It's totally red glass. Yeah, faceted uh, checkerboard. Yeah really beautiful 
Um, help me. Uh, who's good at this? Sabrina would know. On her phone and on a YouTube app. Oh, that's the right question. Okay, Ruth. If you're on the YouTube app, it's different than if you're on a browser. Ruth says, so pretty, by the way. Yeah, she can't get into the chat. I don't know. Are you a subscriber, Ruth? We'll work on it. We'll figure it out. It'll happen. Big. It's big. And also perfect. Look, very fresh. No nicks, no scratches, no nothing. Nothing at all. So like it was in a jewelry box for the last 70 years. Yes, she says yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know what the yes is to. Yes to the app. Yes to the phone. Yes to Safari. I don't know. I'll text you, Ruth, but not tonight. I'm beat. Oh, you are a subscriber. Oh, Vicky's, Vicky wrote that. Oh, okay. We'll work on it. Oh, you know what? Why don't you hit... Oh, no. If you could hit the join button. No bumps, no bruises. No, I know. It's very fresh. It's just really sparkly and beautiful. I'll put it on the pink. I'll leave it on the pink. There you go. It's like new. What's not to love? Huge. Huge. I got it. Huge. <laughs> no age. <laughs> See, I don't I don't do any signaling here. I don't. I refuse. But it's an opening. It's definitely an opening. I can do the typewriter move. Um, okay. Uh Stella says 85. Fresh, we love fresh. We love fresh, juicy. This is one of those. The watermelon punch look. Nev says 90. <laughs> what Sarah said. Okay, if she, okay, Ruth, if you are on Safari browser, you've ne I, okay, you've never found the live chat button. Oh, that's what it is. If you're on the Safari browser, there, you can't find the live chat. It does look kind of check, yeah. I know, I always was thinking that, but I can't say for sure. Stella says, yeah, so so here's the advice. If you're on the phone, get the YouTube app. Go to Safari, not Safari. Go to your app store, like whatever your app store is, go to your app store, put in Y, how do you spell YouTube? Y-O, put in Y-O and YouTube will come up right away. Install the YouTube app and then you'll get to the chat. Watch on the app. That's it. That's an easy way to say it. That's much better, Vintage Me Cat. Vintage Me Cat said it in three words. Can't eat jewelry. Juicy. You can't eat it, but if you could, wouldn't this be delicious? Who's got the top, the, the top bid? It's Nev. Nev is at 90. I'm tired. Me too. All right. You've already hit the join button. Oh, perfect. Yay, Ruth. That's fantastic. And thank you for joining. Oh, I should have realized that. Yeah, if you hit the join button, you can do it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to start calling this. Nev is at 90. I haven't seen anybody else. You need your bed. Okay. All right, Christina. 1098 going once, 765 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning. So congratulations, Nev. I need my bed too. This was fun. This was a really fun night. I really had fun. You guys are fun. You're fun and funny and you make me laugh. Hysterical. And I think about it sometimes, like you'd be surprised, like I'll wake up and I'll go like, ah, I'll get it later. You know, it'll be even funnier. Let me write that down. 90, 90 Nev, 90 Nev. Okay. All right. I have a lot of work ahead of me. There's a lot of packages to get out. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> the turkey. <laughs> okay. Me too. Love hanging out with all of you. You'll be hearing from me. Those of you that need to connect with the buttons, you will get the buttons. If you don't get the buttons by tomorrow afternoon, feel free to text. And I will I will see you all soon. Um, uh, I'll see you on Wednesday. 
Then Thursday is Thanksgiving, and then Friday we're off, and then we're going to do the big Black Friday thing. Okay, bye, everybody. Night, night.